Ranger Fianulis in this is Environment News. While Irma was barreling down the Caribbean and up to Florida, many were taking shelters and evacuating while the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marines were on standby and ready to help the victims affected by this historic hurricane. Here's Sarah Nachman with EBC Washington, D.C. On the line, Sarah, tell us more. As Irma heads towards Florida, the attention is where it will make landfall and how much havoc it will leave behind. While this is happening, three Navy ships are already busy providing relief and assistance to the battered U.S. Virgin Islands in an amazing pace. These ships are USS Wasp, USS Cursage, and USS Oak Hill. According to U.S. Fleet Forces Command, so far they have delivered 17,500 pounds of food, water, and medical supplies. These were delivered in St. Thomas and St. John. They also performed 47 hospital evacuation in those islands. One important fact to note is the Navy's impeccable skills for logistic and planning. All three ships were ready and ready to go and on standby even before Irma hit the U.S. Virgin Islands. In addition to the ships that are currently in the U.S. Virgin Islands, the U.S. Fleet Forces Command also announced additional three Navy ships are on standby and ready to assist wherever they are called upon to help. These ships are amphibious assault ship Iwo Jima, amphibious transport dock ship USS New York, and guided missile cruiser USS San Jacinto. The Department of Defense provides the support under the guidance of FEMA, which is the lead federal agency. Once the damages are assessed, FEMA will direct the Navy assets to where they are needed. 